Hey, what is going on everyone? Welcome back to Cars with Ben and on today's video we are talking about Drive Club. So, as you may or may not know, Drive Club has been off line now since the end of August, I think possibly September last year, so which means it's been around a year's time that it's been offline. Now in that time, I haven't played this game very much, but today I'm just bringing four compilations of driving into the game. I'm just going to talk about the game really and why I think it's a great game and why um, why everyone should still play this game if you can, I think you can still download it, without the DLC. Um, I have done a very popular video on this, and it was my most viewed video ever, and I just thought, you know what, let's just talk Drive Club. So, if you haven't already played Drive Club, it is a one of the initial PS4 games that were launched um, with the game, with the, with the PS4. Well, I, they had a lot of issues, of course, um, but the reason why I'm making a video on this is because I still feel like it is the best one, to be honest, it probably surpasses Gran Turismo for me in some ways because it's just so realistic and I feel like this is one of the best PS4 game, car game, racing games you can still get and it's a shame that they don't have it on the store anymore, they've taken it completely down, got the leaderboards, so you don't have the, I think you can still download it, I might be wrong. But I've had a lot of questions asking if you know if we can download DLC, and the answer to that is no. Unfortunately, there is no more DLC. I don't know why they're taking it off, and it's a shame. But yeah, as you can see, it's um, graphically fantastic, and I think physically, uh, not physically, um, control-wise, it's an excellent controlling game. It's it handles well. There's a lot of forced feedback. It's probably maybe not the best of the wheel, but. I really enjoy it. So here you go, you can see him in the aerial atom doing a, another quick race. I'm just doing random events really, just to sort of get some gameplay. As you can see there, servers aren't working. Which, for me, is a massive shame because this game should have even had a predecessor. It should have lived on longer, it should have had more to go. Uh, it's a shame that the company had to go that shut down, but... Really, I just want to have... This is really an appreciation video, I guess, if you will, and if you... Um, haven't played Drive Club, you should definitely consider it because it's a very hidden gem in my opinion. Well, it's not even hidden, it's a gem. Um, so you can do all these random events as you can see here. I'll talk a bit more about the gameplay. I'm just picking cars. There's so much, there's quite a lot of choice of cars, by the way. Um, so I'm going from Be Beetle to Aerial Atom to BMW to Ferrari in this gameplay. And I really, really enjoy it because it just gives me a bit of a backing to talk about. But you can also see that this game, BMW gameplay is really, really just fun because you can just feel the you can just really feel the car. It's just really strange, but you don't get that in the same way that when you play Grand Turismo for me anyway. Or any other game really, there's just something about it. Just the detail on the dash. You know, I could go on and on. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this gameplay. If uh, you do like my content and you have seen it before, please feel free to leave a like. I am doing a lot of car content on weekly uploads, um, so I'm planning to do pretty much anything you can think of cars. Unfortunately, I realised that I do have a similar per car person called Cars with JB, which is a bit of an unfortunate. So if he does watch this video, um, maybe we can talk. <laughs> Yeah, but I've kind of been inspired by sort of people like Black Panther, um, Super GT, AR12 Gaming, I think that's the right one, uh, Slap Trade, just all these car YouTubers, um, and obviously people like Stradman who have such an insane collection. So I think, you know, there's been there's so many I could name, but gaming wise, this is sort of what I want to do, is what I really want to put into passion in, and I'm planning to really um, do it. I've been doing it for about a year now, on and off, and I haven't really got anywhere with my channel. But I really like to start getting it further. Anyway, back to the gameplay. Yeah, as you can see, you've got quite a lot of drifting in this BMW. I think it looks excellent, by the way. Colour-wise, it just you know it just looks fantastic. The tone of the game, it just it sits so pretty. Um, and you know, for, a, for an early PS4 game, this really does still has aged very well. It should, if this came out today, this would be very very amazing. You know, if it came out on PS5, I think this game would just be a fantastic um, game, you know, I wouldn't like blink an eyelid if it was, because it just handles so well, and obviously, um, there used to be online but Drive Club servers shut down there was clubs, uh, if you don't know they had to shut down, and they've taken all the DLC off, which is a shame, because I think I was lucky to download some of the DLC, 
But unfortunately, if you buy the season pass, I don't even know if you can buy the season pass, which it did come with, um, you can't have that stuff anymore. But if base game is still available, then there's a lot to enjoy. Uh, you'll see me doing these laps here just because I, even though I wasn't getting the, the good times, um, they really, really just for fun. You can just see, and you can even see in the gameplay almost how the car handles, and just you can sort of feel how you just know it just feels good. I can't really describe it, but. I sort of go from different gameplay to gameplay here, um, and I'm planning, well, I was going to do more videos on Car Club, Drive Club, but there really isn't a lot to talk about now other than my nostalgic reasons for the game. Um, it is a lot of fun, a lot of messing about, just ran hitting random events for me is one of my favourite things to do, if you if you know what I mean you'll, you'll agree, it's just, and the way his hands move on the wheels, it just feels so good, so, yeah. That's pretty much coming up this video, um, and again, why I really think it's a fantastic game. Unfortunately, it, well, it did come out for free, I believe, on PS, PSN at one point, um, but it definitely, I think that's how I've got it. Unless I bought it, I can't remember. But it's definitely worth buying, even if it is on the store, because which I will check out. Um, but sorry, this is a very long BMW gameplay. You can kind of see. This, the colour scheme maybe I went for with this car isn't looking fantastic, I will be honest. But, you know, it's a BMW, it looks good on this track. I think it, it also the, the modelling, the car modelling here is just utterly superb. They have done it so well. I'm going to just say better than any other car game. Just any other car. Like, like in my opinion, it, every car looks like it should. And the angles are just right. I think it's the, I don't know if it's the colour and the, the lighting, but yeah. Just love this game. I mean, just watching this gameplay for me is just an enjoyable experience. Anyway, let's move on to the next gameplay of or road test. Or road test. Next event is the Ferrari um, challenge. Uh, it's just a random event I picked, I think. And I'm um, driving the Ferrari California, which is a very fast car on this game. Well, at the time, anyway. Um, I have actually driven a Ferrari California in real life, so it was kind of a useful to be able to see what it was like again. Um, and actually, while I'm talking about it, having driven the Ferrari California, like exactly like this one, it's a very big car, it feels very um, heavy. Um, so, and I'm comparing it to an Audi R8, definitely I've driven that as well, and that was a lot of better, better car to drive. But I am waffling here at this point. This race is just a whole, uh, I think it's an Italian race actually, so we've got Maserati and Ferraris. Um, it's just sort of a get to the, the premise of it is progress, so you've got to get to the finish first um, for everyone else in that time. Um, so these are really fun events because you can kind of see the whole map, uh, these weird little tracks that aren't even tracks really, they're just roads. Um, and all the cars are just a bit crazy. I do try and keep it clean, but it's really difficult when it's such a tight, narrow street and you've got cars left, right and centre. Okay, I, I take that back, it's not an Italian race. It's just a cheap car race. But I really enjoy driving this car because it feels like it, it does have the power. Handling wise, it's not great, but power wise, the Ferrari just has it you know, covered. And already I'm in second here, so I'm building up some pace to take up the next Ferrari. That's why I thought it was a Ferrari challenge. Uh, but anyway, that kind of really sums up this race. There's not much to it. I think the track is India. In Indian, maybe. Um, and again, this is something that's really unique to the game, is that you just don't have this kind of... You just don't have this kind of track usage. You know, most games obviously are a track, or um, Forza Horizon is a place that's made up. Well, not always, sorry, that's alright, it's not made up. But with these, they're very, very unique. You just don't get these kind of layouts in other games, this sort of road circuit, which... Well, it's not, sorry, I keep saying circuit, it's not a circuit. But this road use... I just want to touch on the point, just look at that interior, just look at that interior, it looks fantastic. Everything about it is just so well detailed, and you can kind of tell that the people who made this game spent a lot of time in in these cars, um, taking pictures, and just really modelling it. But yeah, I've said this a million times, it's a great, fantastic game. And it's a shame that it's not around, so, you know, um, I, miss, I miss it, please come back. <laughs> Please come back to PS5. It would be great if there was like a PS5 remake, or not a remake, but a, a new version. Um, 
But yeah, that pretty much sums up the video today, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, consider leaving a like rating um, and subscribe because I make all types of car content for Cars with Ben. And it's GTA, it's Gran Turismo, it's Mad Max, it's Need for Speed, it's anything. Um, and I'm planning to do a lot more. So I hope to take this channel further and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.